All right, guys, we just rolled into a neat little pond renovation job. Jerry's already got a head start on me here. Let's uh, head over the hill and see what he's got going on. Well, here's what we got going. Jerry drained. This pond wasn't holding water hardly at all. Right there in the middle, there's a little steel pipe. They used to... Uh, water cattle out of it and that pipe rusted off and it's been leaking and uh they want to expand it make it a little bit bigger than what it is so we're going to uh, dig all these stumps off terminate that pipe and then we're going to send that dam on around the corner and uh, increase the size of this thing probably by about twice jerry beat me out here this morning he's been uh stripping topsoil and getting everything prepped i'm probably gonna hop on the track hoe and uh start popping some stumps out and see what we need to do with that pipe there go the long way around because i can't quite jump that ditch pretty good, pretty good dirt to work with All right, Jerry seems to got the dozer work under control, so we're gonna, my goodness, I need to clean this thing out. It is the uh, busy time of year, and the busy time of year comes around. Grease fuel and run for all your worth. Uh, key. Captain Cleman dropped this off. Not for sure where he put the key. Hey, that's just where I put the key. Perfect. Perfect little hiding spot. All right. All right, no, let's go dig some stumps. All right, so first order of business for us is pop a few of these stumps out here. There's only one pretty good size, but most of them are pretty small, like so. Oh, Jerry over there. Got this real nice excavator, air ride seat, air conditioning, radio. He don't want nothing to do with it. He loves, absolutely loves that old 850 dozer. That's uh, I give him the option all the time to run the track hole, run this, run that. Oh. Jerry wants the dozer, so we turn Jerry loose on the dozer and let him roll. Oh, this is going to be a little pain in the butt, I see. Alright, give me a second. Let me get him loosened up here and then we'll pop him out. I may loosen him up and let Jerry come up here and hit him. And if I can't tag him.
There we go. We'll let Jerry deal with that from there. I got, I'm going to hop my way down across this uh, cut out here. Pop these few stumps out on the other side. Maybe try to dip a little bit of this mud out of here. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'll do something though. I got the stumps popped got the whole dog out down here whoa that's a little muddy besides being a recreational oh my goodness i'm going down that did not go as planned let's really watch where i'm walking so other than being a cattle pond and not a recreational pond and being all grown up one of the problems it had is is this pipe here rusted off i guess at some point it went all the way through the dam and then they had a watering hole on the back side. As you can see, it's not in the best shape. And it started leaking and that's what drained the pond. So, I think the best thing to do is to take it out. So we just ain't gotta mess with it no more. There's a lot of lizards down there. There's a little lizard there, lizard there, a lizard there. Lizards everywhere. Uh, so I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dig down, find this pipe, chase it for a little bit. There's a frog. No fish. Get out of here without sticking up to my knees again. Gosh dang it, got on muddy. But uh, I'm gonna chase that pipe back in here pretty good ways. Just take it out. I don't know if I'll take it out all the way through the dam, but we'll take it out most of the way through the dam and uh, get uh, seven, eight feet of clay on top of it and uh, possibly even pour maybe a concrete plug on the end of it, but there's all the water I bailed out. So, next step, chase. Chase the pipe, Jerry's still over. Can't even see him, he's over the hill over there. He's still stripping. A lot of good dirt here. In our area, we don't have a lot of good topsoil. There's quite a bit here, so uh, he's definitely trying to save that to uh, put back on the dam after we're done, and, we'll, and it don't work very good for holding water. Get down that good clay. A lot of good, a lot of really good dirt here. So that's a plus. 
I'm not gonna hop down in there because I don't trust that hole. But we chased that pipe back probably about 30 feet. We're pretty much in the deepest part of the dam. I don't see no reason to chase it the rest of the way through. Uh, Jerry's over here. Spin around over here. Jerry's over here. He's gonna push us up some good play, some really good dirt. And I'm gonna take the Traco bucket. We're just gonna pack it down in there and cap it off. And uh, that should seal it up pretty good. It, uh, yeah. Get that problem fixed and we'll get started in on the keyway and go in the uh, other way. So we're getting there. I'm not gonna hop down in there because I don't trust that hole. But we chased that pipe back probably about 30 feet. We're pretty much in the deepest part of the dam. I don't see no reason to chase it the rest of the way through. Uh, Jerry's over here. Spin around right over here. Jerry's over here. He's gonna push us up some good play, some really good dirt. And I'm gonna take the Traco bucket. We're just gonna pack it down in there and cap it off. And uh, that should seal it up pretty good. It, uh, yeah, get that problem fixed and we'll get started in on the keyway and go in the uh, other way. So we're getting there. I came down here to spray weeds and uh, it operated for about <clears throat> three or four minutes and then it shut down. I've been playing with it, uh, turning the valves on and off and what have you. It seems to be dead now. I didn't know if you guys were coming down for lunch or you want to take it together or not. Just let me know. We get one more push in here and then we should have some good dirt within reach. There we go, that's some really good stuff.
see down there, I'm just putting this in about foot lifts. Come back and take the bucket, packing it in. It's actually been packing in really nice. I want to take the back of the bucket, tap it, get a lot more pressure. You don't have to hit it hard, just kind of drop the bucket on there. No reason to abuse the machine. But, um, I think that's definitely going to alleviate at least this problem. I feel pretty good about this and it's good dirt. Sometimes you get in some of these jobs and the dirt's questionable at best, but uh, pretty good play right here. Jerry's kind of starting in on the keyway over there from the way of the extension. If I get done with this, I'll probably go over and give him a hand with that. So far, so good. I kind of got myself backed into a corner here, but figure that out at some point. So the repair we did on that pipe straight across going up right there. That went pretty well. I'm just gonna take some of this mud. There's not a whole lot in here. I'm gonna lay it out up here in the sun. Uh, that way it'll dry out a little bit and then Jerry can Jerry can push it off later and mix it in or push it over the dam or whatever he wants to do with it. That way he don't have to worry about getting down in here and fighting it with the track hoe. There's not, or the dozer, I'm sorry. There's not that much down here to be honest with you. Most of the time this stuff's like feet deep. There's maybe a Maybe a foot worth in here. Most of it's dried out pretty good. Get it up here, get it spread out, let the sun beat on it. That way we can do something with it later. Sure smells delicious, I'll tell you that much. situation. He said he wants to work late tonight and he can't work if he don't have no fuel. So I got the boys running him fuel out here later so he can keep going. He's allowed to push dirt till midnight. Oh, the 
right there absolutely nothing fancy i just wanted to get a good base down the bottom it's hard for jerry to get that big wide dozer down in there it's just easier for me to be with the traco so go over here clean up a little bit along the edge of the woods there that i think from there on it's gonna be uh it's gonna be all jerry and the dozer for a while i go about as far as i can go with the traco here jerry's got everything switched he's already got this bladed in got the bottom of the hole drying out there overflow ripped out stumps ripped out We'll go grab lunch, do a few other things. We'll come back and check on old uh, Jerry, but I think the ball's in uh, the ball's in his court for now. He told me I better plan on getting him some fuel down here as he wanted to run till midnight. Really? I like that. He's your style. Yes, sir. I told, I told him, I said, look at this place. I need beauty sweet. I can't do that. See, you do. That's why you need to get your rest. <laughs> and he also told me, he told me I wasn't allowed to video him because he hasn't lost his winter weight yet. <laughs> hey, well, that, that uh, little pep talk I gave him from the management point of view. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think that's what's uh, got him going and wanting to go until midnight. I think that pep talk was... I got the number to the HR department. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go eat some lunch. All right, so this is what's going on just down the road. The boys are over here putting all the uh, utilities in to this house here. You guys might recognize this. This is the house we uh, dug the basement on a month and a half, two months ago, I guess. But uh, give you guys a quick little tour while we're here. This is an ICF house. This is actually the way I was in the construction business. This is the way we used to build houses. They were ICF from the basement all the way to the top. And there's times we used to even pull the gable. This one don't have a port gable, but uh, there's times we did pull the gable. But these are, this is actually a Fox Block house. Uh, Fox Block's just a different uh, brand of ICF. A couple differences. One, the blocks are only four feet long instead of eight feet long. They're only 16 inches tall instead of 18 inches tall, but the studs are every six inches instead of every eight inches. After the walls poured, they're uh, they're all about the same to be honest with you. 
I prefer Nadira. Nadira is much more user friendly to install. But once it's installed, it's all the same to the homeowner. So it's still a good product. I'm not going to knock it. I got a few videos on this, but that's how the this wall goes straight on up. So they got what they call an ICFVL, which is that bracket there. Uh, I got a few videos installing those. That insert plate goes into the wall. That J bracket goes around your band board, and you get eight or nine bolts in it. That's what holds it all together. Pretty slick little system. Uh, show you one other thing else upstairs here. Might be a little bit hard to see, but we don't put top plates on the wall. There's actually a steel plate, steel plate poured into concrete, and then it's bolted in there to uh, hold that truss down. Makes a really strong connection right there at the top of the wall. It uh, works out pretty good, but uh, we have nothing to do with the construction on this house. We are just doing the uh, doing the utilities, not doing the drain lines. We're hooking in the sewer line, water line, and electric line. And we may do some final grade if I can get dirt. I'm trying to get some, uh, trying to get some dirt. So. But uh, they pretty much got this one here under wraps. I helped them make a few, helped them make a few connections and uh, getting ready to head back over and check on Jerry. Just going back over to bring Jerry some fuel. He's made uh, pretty good progress in the uh, three or four hours we've been gone. We got quite the, uh, quite the hole started. He's gonna have to stop at some point or he's gonna run out. Dirt looks like it's getting hard. Well, if we hold this up, you'll get the hint. Number one rule of reason is What's that? never wear a white shirt. They plan on greasing today. <laughs> so you should always be prepared. Do you handle all the power of that Milwaukee? I don't know. Got a little more than that wall. I bet you're not tall, tall enough to reach those. I bet you're right. But they built these step stools on here. <laughs> At least Jerry didn't park you going downhill. Quick, yeah it is. Real quick. So give you guys a little bit of an update, a little reference to where we were at before. Right there's where I was dipping water out a couple hours ago. Right there's where that pipe come up. And this dam hooked around and went around that way and now it's going straight and then it's gonna curve around over there. Derry's found some really good material down there in the bottom. But it's also uh, pretty hard. <clears throat> Pretty hard pushing stuff. We uh, come over here and show you. We are right up against the property line on this one. There is a white stake up you can see it in the camera. Right there. That is actually the property line. It runs right down through here and it goes down 90s and comes up. The neighbor is Jerry. <laughs> so I told Jerry. If he gets his own his own property, I don't want to hear about it. It ain't nobody's fault with his own because he's actually got that pile of dirt on his property. So I don't think it's too big a deal. Him and him and neighbor are pretty good friends. So we walk around here and get a few shots and then we're gonna turn Jerry loose. He's full of fuel, he'll probably run 
I don't know, it's five o'clock now. I wouldn't surprise me if you don't run there five or six hours a night. Now he's got fuel. today let jerry do his thing we'll be back out here again i'll show you guys a finished product i'm gonna turn jerry loose on it and i'll probably come back and help him uh run grade here a day or so if the weather stays good so hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like subscribe and comment and as always guys we'll catch you on the next one